Oh, hi there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and today I am going to do a quick get ready with me while I try out a whole bunch of drugstore makeup. Some I've used before and some is brand new to me. Um, so far I'm liking this foundation. Stay tuned to find out what it is. And while I'm getting ready, I'm going to be answering the get to know me tag questions. So you're going to hear a whole bunch of random information about my life coming up right now. Today I am starting with a brand new foundation. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Up To 24 Hour Fresh Wear um, Foundation. This has got a sunscreen with a broad spectrum of SPF 25 in it, and I actually tested it out a little bit at the store trying to find a shade. Um, I will say that if you're testing it out in the store when you're picking it up, the dry down is significantly different than the color that it comes out of the bottle in. I think I got a pretty okay match, but it really doesn't look like when it first comes out because I thought the color I chose was going to be way too light but I think it might even be a tad dark so just beware of the dry down but I will say I'll start putting it on I will say that I put it on the back of my hand I came home from the store and I washed my hands and the water did bead up in the area and the foundation is still there like after I like washed my hands so um, this has a, you know, a claim that it's going to last forever and doesn't come off and you can wear it like to the gym and it's sweat proof. Um, so it might actually kind of come through on some of those really long lasting promises. Um, so it's a glass bottle. It's got a little plastic pump that's kind of like feels like it's going to come off, but whatever it was drugstore. Um, I'm just going to put it on my, Ooh, it's really, so I do my foundation on this little thing. It's really liquidy. Um, but I know that the coverage is okay, so I'm gonna start less and go to more. Um, just using my IT Cosmetics brush. And let's get into the questions. I am just using the Get to Know Me tag questions from the YouTube Society. Um, if you guys wanna know anything else, let me know and I'll probably do another one of these at some point. Um, so question the first, and I'm just gonna, there's a ton of them, so I'm just gonna go through them until we're done and then we're done. Um, so the first question is, where did you grow up? Um, I grew up in North Dakota. I'm currently in North Dakota. I grew up in Fargo, which is where I am right now. Um, I have lived here pretty much my whole life. We lived, I was born in a smaller town just about an hour south of here. And then when I was two and my brother was a tiny little baby, this has nice coverage. It covers my red very well. Um, but when my brother was a baby, we moved to Fargo because my dad was going to college and wanted to get a better job and the college he wanted to go to was here. So here we are. Wow. I have to say, even without concealer, like look at the difference in the old dark circles. It smells a little perfumey. Does it have added fragrance? It doesn't say, but the active ingredients, they do have two sunscreen ingredients. So this is actual SPF and not a mechanical shield. That's good to know. Um, so anyway, so we moved here when I was two and I've lived, I lived here until I was 20. Um, well, that's a lie. I lived here until I was 18 and I went to college at the University of Minnesota for one year and came home after that. Um, lived with my parents for a little over a year and moved to San Diego when I was 20 because it was very cold here and I was ready for some new life experiences that a smallish city didn't really provide me and I lived in San Diego for 13 years and I love it there. I just wish it wasn't so expensive to live there because I would still be there. I got foundation on my teeth. So that is the coverage of this foundation. Um, I I think the color looks pretty good for, you know, trying to guess from a bottle in a store. Um, I think this is good, good, like a good color. We'll see what the dry down looks like. I did not use a primer um, because I just wanted to see how this did on its own. But so far, I think it looks very nice. In an effort to kind of stick to drugstore, not necessarily drugstore price, but put actual drugstore products, um, I am using the Wet n Wild concealer, uh, photo focus concealer, and that's it. And it is in the shade something, Ivory Light. I do like this one, it's 
less than four i think it's 350 at my cvs which means it's probably less than that at like walmart or target but i do like it i think it's nice all right the next set <laughs> the next question is where do you currently live i'm back in fargo um i got married when i was in san diego we got pregnant and it was hard we were living in a 700 square foot one bedroom apartment that we knew we couldn't have a baby in um my husband had just graduated college he went back for a um a second degree in graphic design and we were hunting for a bigger apartment and the only apartments that we were able to even fathom getting were in not great parts of town and they would have been a huge stretch for us financially um so with that and knowing that kiddo was coming um we decided to come home for me well like come home to where my parents lived and um, my whole family's here so we thought it would be best if that was what we were going to do when we had our baby and that's what brought us here and where we are now all right next question is who is your best friend my best friend her name is Darcy. You've probably seen her. Oh, it's been a while since she's been on this channel. So um, there's a deep dive. You can get to um, a meeting my best friend video. Um, I'm actually going to go out to see her. She lives in LA right now. We lived together in San Diego for like seven years, I think. Um, we've been best friends for 20. Is it 20 now? Yeah, um, we knew each other a little bit in high school. We were from different towns in North Dakota and then we ended up in the same dorm at the University of Minnesota and then we met and fell in love and we've been BFFs ever since. And on to brows, I'm starting with this Wet n Wild retractable brow pencil and then I will fill in a bit um, and shape a little bit more with the LA Girl Shady Slim and Darkest Brown. Okay, so next question, how tall are you? I am five foot seven and a half to eight. Depends on the day and how tall I'm standing. Um, dogs or cats uh i guess dogs only because i'm allergic to cats um i like cats enough um i've never had one because we were always a dog family we had one dog growing up um but honestly fish is the answer i love fish magnus got an aquarium for christmas we're in the process of getting that set up in his bedroom um but i guess dogs i think we are um, we're watching we're watching my parents dog right now he's you know this geriatric shih tzu so he's downstairs just hanging out um i don't know i like to snuggle small fluffy things like i love puppies okay all right the next question is what year were you born i was born in 1981 and that means I graduated in 1999. So it was the last graduating class of the 19s. Um, and that makes me almost 38, if you're trying to do the math. Um, are you in, have you gone to college? Yes. Um, I went to, like I said, I went to the University of Minnesota for a bit. I took a few classes at North Dakota State when I came back for a year and lived with my parents. And then I actually um, went online for the remainder of my degree. Um, so it was from National University and it was in like they have a weird name for it but basically it was graphic design and then about halfway through me completing the program they changed it to a focus in video game design which i had very little to no interest in but um got some weird experience in it so i have kind of a weird overarching multimedia design uh schooling What is my favorite drink? I feel like we've done these questions before. I'm going to skip this one. You can watch the other Q&A one. Um, you're wearing perfume. What scent is it? Um, I don't wear perfume very often, but I do have two favorites. My um, like fun daytime favorite is going to make me sound like a child, but it, and I don't even know if they make it anymore. It's Lucky Girl from like Lucky Brand, you know, the jeans brand. It's in a pink bottle and I don't know. I just love the way it smells. Every time I see one of my friends, I'm usually wearing it and she smells and she goes, oh, it smells like we're 20 again. <laughs> so that's kind of like my fun, weird one. So if you've got perfume suggestions that are like that, but a little bit more adult, please let me know. Um, but otherwise I wear J'adore from Dior. That's basically my go-to um, 
perfume and I don't wear scents a lot during the day that's just um, my like fancy evening time accessory for my eyes today I found this palette like <laughs> <laughs> this sounds so bad, but I found it like underneath my makeup shelves over there. It's this this huge, it's the 6th edition 120 color eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics that I bought at Kohl's, I think, maybe around Christmas time. I had some weird like coupon and I was it was before I was medicated for my mental health issues, so I was feeling like I needed a treat. Um, so I bought this, and I've only used it once or twice, um, but it just, it smells bad. Like, it smells chemically and plasticky, and I don't know if that's, like, true for across the board BH, but so this is, like, one tray, and then this thing lifts out, and there's a whole, like, separate tray of cool tones underneath. But I think I'm going to use this top one and just kind of stick to some of the brown shades over here. Um, actually, I think I'm going to stick to this corner of six here. Um, I'm not going to like lift it up and show you every time because it's really heavy. But we'll see. I don't remember at all how this performs or what it does. But I just remember that it just has a ton of colors. And some of them are so similar that I don't know why there's even two different pans for them. Um, but we're just going to play around a little bit and see how that goes while we continue to answer questions. Okay, next one is tea or coffee. Um, coffee, 100%. I like tea. I enjoy tea quite a bit. But, oh gosh. Okay, so these pans are so tiny, it's really hard to, like, get in there, really. So, that's a thing. Um, yeah, coffee. Specifically iced coffee. I will drink coffee hot if I have to. But even if it's the coldest day of the year, I will have an iced coffee. Um, I make cold brew at home when I think about it. Otherwise, I've got a Ninja coffee maker that you can, um, so it's got a function where it can make coffee over ice. So it like makes, I think how it works is it just makes a more concentrated thing that then just pours over ice and you have an iced coffee or, you know, Starbucks gets a lot of my money. Um, next is what sports do you play or have you played? Uh, I don't sports. I <laughs> In high school, if that's kind of the question, I was in forensics and drama. So I was very active on the speech team and uh, the debate team. And I was in student congress, which I was really in just to go on the trips. I did not at all care about, you know, pretending that I was in congress. <laughs> but it looks really good on a college application and you have a ton of fun. I will say that. Um, so yeah, I didn't sports and I don't do sports. If I'm getting physical activity, I love walking outside, like just going for walks and listening to, you know, music or podcasts and just walking around forever. I love doing that. Um, otherwise, I have some old step aerobics tapes from a long time ago that I love doing. Like I hold on to the uh, leg warmers and um, leotard type videos and the step from that. I like that. Like class-based stuff, I guess, is what I do for physical activity. Um, when I have a gym pass, I go to the gym and I do that kind of stuff. So what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie of all time is 100% hands down Dirty Dancing. Um, I have loved it since it came out and I think I was seven when it came out. Um, maybe younger. What year did Dirty Dancing come out? I found three for you to choose from. Dirty Dancing, 1987 movie. That one. Dirty Dancing. Shut up. Um, so I was six when it came out. I saw it when it came out and I loved it and I love it to this day. Um, every single time it's on TV, no matter where it is in the movie, I will watch it to the end from that point. Um, let me try a different one. Yeah, Dirty Dancing is for sure my jam. I love a lot of other movies, but that one is my 100% all-time favorite. Do you speak any languages and how well? Um, I speak English moderately well, and um, I took German in high school, and that's about it. I know enough Spanish to um, ask for very simple things like 
directions and how to get to the restroom and how to order food, but um, nope, pretty much just English. Are you single or taken? I am married. <laughs> I've been married for five years. We got married in 2004. So it'll be five years in June. Um, how long was your longest relationship? My marriage. It's been eight years <laughs> that we've been together. Cheese and rice. It's been eight years. Wow. Um, okay. How would you describe your fashion sense? Um, pretty simple. I wear a lot of black and like really my go-to is like a black t-shirt and dark skinny jeans. Um, I like to keep my clothes pretty simple because then um, no matter what I'm doing with makeup or accessories it matches like black goes with everything so um, yeah that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. I wear like sneakers. Actually if you were to draw a picture of me wearing something it would be a black t-shirt, dark, um, dark skinny jeans and sandals probably like Birkenstock type. What is your go-to hairstyle? This one. <laughs> um, I usually have my hair up, except the days that I have actually like washed it and styled it. Um, otherwise, yeah, this is pretty much my hair. I sleep in my hair up like this and then I'll take it down. Well, I like to have my hair up because I don't like it, you know, on me all the time. But when I do have my hair down, which is wash day and the day after, um, that's fine. But then today's day three, so I'm going to wash it tomorrow. So up is usually how that goes. Okay, let's see. How many siblings do you have? I have one brother who is two years younger than me. His name is Jace, and he lives about three hours away. He has two kids who I love very, very much. <laughs> what is your go-to fast food order? Well, it depends on where we are. If we're at Burger King, it's a number one with cheese, large diet, Dr. Pepper. If we are at Taco Bell, it's usually the three Crunchy Taco Supremes combo or the Crunchwrap Supreme combo at a bean burrito. And that's it. <laughs> Do you use PC or Mac? Um, Mac. This is a Mac. I have a Mac laptop and then we have a one of the big iMacs out in the on the desk because Mike and I are both um, designers. What is your most memorable vacation memory? Um, I would have to say one of my most probably my most memorable memorable which is very hard for me to say today vacation memory um, was when Mike and I went to the Jelly Belly factory in Napa. I'm going to be using the falsies from Maybelline. It's um, the falsies push-up drama in super black or black is black or I can't read it. It's black. Okay. When Mike and I were first dating, um, we got together in May and around July, my brother was graduating from his um, kind of it was kind of like a graduate program, but it was a post college program, um, but it wasn't like a graduate degree I don't know it was like an additional training in computer animation so he's a 3d animator by training um, so he was graduating from his program up in San Francisco and I was gonna go up there for his graduation and just to kind of hang out with him and my sister-in-law at the time um, so I was telling Mike this I was saying you know I was gonna be gone in like a month or two to San Francisco because of this and it's gonna be fun and I haven't seen my brother in so long and he goes oh um I have something funny to tell you well it turns out that he won um on a game show he was on a game show called Love Triangle so he was on this game show and he was like the winner of it. So he got money, but also they call it a Napa vacation, but it wasn't a vacation. They just gave him passes to the wine train and then like this money that you could have spent on like a hotel or whatever. Um, so he used the money when the game show was over, but still had the passes to this wine train and a few other like little things up in the area. And he said, well, if you want some company, I'll come with you on this trip and we can go on the wine train and take a wine tour and like be super romantic and all that. I was like, yeah, that's fine. Come on, you can come with. Um, so within two months of us dating, 
we took a eight hour road trip together up to Napa, which is like pretty romantic. Oh no. I'll clean that up later. And while we were up there, we saw, we were San Francisco and Napa. So while we were up there, of course, like I got to hang out with my brother and my sister-in-law and that was super fun. We got to go to the best seafood restaurant I've ever been to. Where are you? Super dumb. Um, and that was in San Francisco. It was amazing. Um, but then after San Francisco, we drove an hour or so to Napa and did the wine train. But of course, like I'm such a nerd that while we were in the like welcome center, they have those big racks filled with um, like brochures of things to do around town. And I saw that the Jelly Belly factory was there and I was like, we're going. This is like, we could do anything else that you wanna do, but I have to go to the Jelly Belly factory. I have been obsessed and loved Jelly Belly since junior high, like to the point that I can um, name them just by looking at them. Uh, so we went to the Jelly Belly factory and it was so silly and so much freaking fun. They had like their little cafeteria. So you like take a tour of the factory and they've got like the factory store and all this other stuff. But they have a little like after. After the tour cafeteria area. And so we got lunch there and it had a jelly bean shaped pizza and it was just a really fun like totally on a whim silly day and we had such a blast it's something we still talk about all the time to this day so that's probably one of my best vacation memories and i'm going to be using the wet and wild contouring palette this is in the dolce de leche this is one of my favorites so it's like all beat up and just worn to hell but it's so good all right, so the next question is, what is your favorite Netflix show? Right now, it changes all the time as new stuff comes in and out. But right now, it's Russian Doll. I don't know if you guys have been watching this or, I mean, it's been out for a minute, but not that long. But it's so good. Natasha Leone is amazing. I have loved her since, like, American Pie and Slums of Beverly Hills. But she does such a fantastic job in this role. And it's like every, I'm really, I just finished it, but I've been pacing myself for, for um, so I don't watch all the episodes all at once because it's so good that I want to pace it out. Um, so Russian Doll is definitely my favorite right now. Um, also, I've always watched Orange is the New Black, but the last few seasons of that have been like, man. So yeah, really those two, I, I don't know, they've got so many good shows. And then of course, uh, The Great British Baking Show. I cannot stop watching that. That is like my, just kind of like screwing around, just need something on in the background, want some noise. That's my show for that. Um, what else? Those are probably like my all time favorite shows on Netflix, I guess. Because everything else that I watch on there, like Shameless, is like a Showtime show, so it's not really a Netflix show, but I guess The Great British Baking Show is a BBC show. I guess we'll just say Russian Doll and leave it at that. Okay, next question is, what theme parks have you been to? I have been to, let's see, I've been to Disney World in Orlando, and that was when I was really little, so like half the stuff that's there now was not there when I was little. Um, I was probably, I think I was, my mom and I were just talking about this the other day. I think I was in second grade and my brother was in kindergarten. That sounds about right. Um, so I've been there and there was no Universal Studios when we were down there. So we didn't go there. Um, yeah, Disney World and Epcot and all that stuff. And then when I lived in California, I went to SeaWorld quite a bit. My husband worked there at the time. And... Disneyland, of course. I've not been to Universal Studios, but I have been to the California Adventure at Disney. Um, highlight, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow in Blossom Glow. And I'm gonna use this fan brush. I've been kind of liking this for highlighter lately. Let's see, where else? SeaWorld, Disney's, um, I guess like the local like roller coaster park in Minneapolis was called called can't remember it'll come to me like as soon as I'm done and turn the camera off what's it called not magic mountain that's in California 
I can't remember, but it's like the Six Flags in um, Minnesota. It's like four hours away from here. And that's pretty much it as far as theme parks go. Oh, and SeaWorld in Orlando. We went there too. Okay. Okay, next is what is your favorite genre of film and why? Um, comedy, I guess, because everyone likes to be entertained and laugh. I would prefer to watch a comedy. I like sci-fi movies. I like, um, I used to really like horror films, but as I've gotten older and after I had a kid, I am not interested in watching films with a lot of violence. And that's a very common thing for women who have children. I don't know what it is, if it just like creates like a switch in your brain or something, but I know a lot of people who are super into horror films and as soon as they had a kid, we're just like, I can't, I can't watch these anymore. So, um, yeah, like fantasy, horror, or not fantasy and horror, fantasy, um, sci-fi, comedy for sure. I like a good drama. Basically, if a movie can make me feel, I like it. Um, but movies I watch over and over again, of course, are like dramas and romantic, uh, not dramas, but comedies and romantic comedies. I am a sucker for like Bridget Jones. I don't know. I just love that movie so much too. <laughs> what was your dream job as a kid? As a kid, I wanted to either be an author or a clothing designer and for a while I thought I wanted to be a doctor um, but then I realized that I didn't want to be a doctor I just like watching surgeries um, when I was little is when cable kind of like oops when I was younger is when cable kind of just like was coming out doing this whole thing like the learning channel which is now TLC was not like how TLC is now it was oh and for lips I'm gonna be using this vivid hot lacquer from Maybelline and it's in the shade Charmer. I've never tried these, but they're really pretty. Um, it's supposed to be shiny and long lasting, so we'll see. Um, but they would have on the on the learning channel, they would have like surgeries and like medical stuff. So you would see like surgeries being performed. And I liked watching those shows because I thought they were super interesting and still do. Um, so I thought that I wanted to be a doctor, but I really don't. Um, but I did end up going to college for a little while for clothing design. So I guess I sort of tried to do my childhood dream and then realized that that was also not what I wanted to do. That industry is not for me. All right, next question is how many countries have you traveled to? I have been to Canada because it's three hours from my home. Ooh, this smells like frosting and chemicals. It's really slippery though, so I like it. And this color is very pretty. Um, I've been to Canada, Mexico, Jamaica, and that's it, I think. Yeah, I didn't, we always did when I was little, like young family trips were where we could drive to. We never um, like went anywhere except when we went to Florida that time. And then when I was 16, I went to Jamaica on a church trip. Whatever the smell is of this, I can taste it in my mouth and I don't like it. Like it's that really chemically like vanilla and I can feel it when I breathe in and I don't like it. Um, but it's a really pretty color. <laughs> uh, okay, I like that. Finally, we'll stop here because I'm done. Um, what is your favorite color? It is purple. I love purple. You can tell it's back here. Um, I do a lot of looks with purple. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to go have lunch with my grandma and my aunt, and it's going to be super fun. Um, if you liked this video and like trying to get a whole bunch of random stuff about me, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it really helps my channel, and I would love you forever. All right, have a super great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, 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 bye. Bye.